Hey everybody, just going to play around with some uh, Yuppo, which I've cut down to a uh, 5x7 to fit in this uh, cheap, I think this is a $1 frame from uh, Walmart, and they come with these little stickers on the back, which I'll usually take off, and sometimes I'll put my own sticker back here, um, and when I'm working on the the Yuppo, a lot of times I'll sign it down here and then put it in the frame, but on the back I'll put a sticker that has like, you know, my email address and stuff like that. Uh, but this is what we'll be using today. And this is going to be uh, really simple. I'm actually going to play around with just a monochromatic, just one color image. And uh, as I said in my other video, this is just a piece of plywood. And then I've got a piece of sheet metal stuck onto it with double-sided tape. And uh, that allows me to, I can wipe this uh, sheet metal clean with alcohol and a paper towel between each uh, piece that I do. And it just gives a nice smooth uh, surface. And uh, I just affix it with a little piece of masking tape. And I'll just uh, apply it on here so that it's... Just barely grabbing the paper up at the top. So you can see it's just right on there holding it. And sometimes it will come loose. Um, if, if a lot of alcohol gets up underneath the tape, it'll eat the uh, adhesive and stuff. But that's basically how I set things up for working on, uh, on Yuppo. And not really sure what color I'm going to go with. Uh... Let's try some denim. And I've got my little cup here with the eyedropper and some alcohol in it. And sometimes when I'm first getting started, I might just, you know, just sprinkle some alcohol in there just to get it going. I'm also going to be using a heat gun in, in this video just to help uh, control where things are going. See if I can get any closer. I've noticed with some colors, um, especially with black, when you use it on the Yuppo, you'll get these weird, like, uh, sky blue and pink uh, sections in there. And I'm not really sure what that is or what causes it. But it could be kind of a neat, uh, kind of a neat effect. It's not really intended. But sometimes it can be a little frustrating when your image comes out a little overly pink. And set that down. Sorry folks, sometimes my heat gun doesn't want to stand up, so I have to play with it until it decides to stop falling over. Um, but you can see in here, there's actually pink in there, and this, this real light blue. Now I'm using denim, but this also happens, I've noticed, when I use black. Uh, we'll get very similar things. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's the first pass there with the inks. And like I said, I'm going to try to keep this monochromatic. I'm only going to use that one color. And we'll just see how this turns out. Because uh, these can be a lot of fun. Because they get you to pay attention to things other than uh, colors playing with other colors. Because you're really limited in your palette. So it opens up you know, focus to other areas and other things that you might not you know, pay as much attention to normally. Things like you know, in traditional art terms, things like form, balance, uh, stuff like that. In the second pass, I was just trying to get rid of some of those really uh, bright white areas. 
turned them more into a light blue rather than just raw paper or yuppo. So there we go, just a gorgeous uh, kind of cloud or, or underwater feel to it. And uh, going back to the denim now, and what I'm going to do is just kind of flick the nozzle so that we get little tiny dots of the, the dark denim on here. And I don't want to do this too much. If you just heard that groaning, that was my dog. <laughs> He's laying here under the camera and he just, every now and then he'll just let out this groan. Like, man, you are boring me so much. <laughs> I'm not paying attention to him. So there we go. Did the little uh, splatters there. And you can see we get these teeny tiny little dots. We also got some bigger ones. Um... But that's pretty much it and uh, you know these look great in a frame and especially if you have like a bigger frame like this is five by seven if you put this in a big you know big enough frame that you've got a good three or four inches of mat around it so this is just kind of floating in the middle of this big area it just really draws you in and uh, it's just gorgeous like I said I'm doing this for five by seven just because that's the only frame I have right now. Um, now something else you can do. I know I said I was going to do monochromatic. But another thing you can do is that little flick trick that I did there at the end. Pick a contrasting color. And just do that very lightly. You don't need a whole lot, but just by adding a touch of that second color, it just really brings it to life. You could do it again with a third color or whatever, but um, I think I'm going to call this one done. I don't want to overwork it, which is very easy to do. So there you go, just a quick video showing some, uh, well, let's keep going. What the heck, right? Let's do one more. I got everything set up. We're already here. And I'm going to put this over here to dry. So I'll take another. Well, let me wipe this down first. even using the same piece of tape. Got a, little, got a little indigo on there. Or denim. A little alcohol and a finger. There we go. So let's try another one. Uh, maybe we'll do bottle. It's a really cool color. It's a very deep green with just a touch of blue in it that uh, I don't know. Get some cool effects. Close this guy up. Go back to the heat gun. Maybe this time I'll leave a bunch of white on purpose. So I'll let some of this stuff flow off.
go. Here's our first pass. And like I said, I'm, I'm going to leave all this white. That gives us something to start with. go. Second one done. Monochromatic. And uh, this almost gives an effect like hills with uh, some vegetation stuff. Cool stuff. Very, very easy. Now one thing we could do if we want to uh, again take this from being uh, monochromatic and make it uh, dichromatic, bichromatic, two colors, whatever the technical term is for that. Only this time I'm going to use the stamper here with the, uh, the felt on it. And I think it might go with some, no, we'll, we'll keep it in the greens. I'm going to go with citrus, which is a much brighter and I'm going to put it right along the edge here of the felt because we're only going to stamp at that edge. And what I'm going to try to do is roughly follow the contours of this little hill here, maybe a little bit up here. Um, and it's just going to give the impression of some vegetation. Hopefully, that's the plan. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm out of frame here. Sorry about that. Sound is my dog moving around again. Dingo. Hey, buddy. So there we go. And I'm wondering if I should mess that up or not by trying to add a little green up here. I kind of like it with that harsh black line, but we'll go ahead and add a little bit just to see what happens. There we go. And it's done. I don't want to overwork it. So now if we take, uh, let me peel this up. sit there a moment and grab another paper towel here
just trying to dry this off a little bit. I'm going to hit this with the heat gun. I want that good and dry because I'm going to flip this over and dry the back because some of the alcohol got up underneath the, uh, the uppo. So the back is a little wet. It's probably good. Hit the front again. Now you can see here up at the top, we've got this blue line going across. And that's where alcohol got up underneath. And it may be because I used that old tape that I used on the other one. Um, but that'll probably be uh, covered by the edge of the frame um, when it's framed. So now I'm going to go ahead and throw this in the frame. And I still have stuff in my fingers, so I'm trying to be very careful where I touch this. Um, there's the paper from the frame. You flip that over so that the, uh, you know, just adds like a little bit of backing to it. Put this guy back together. And this is the cheapest of the cheap. Uh, as far as frames go, this was a dollar. Um, and surprisingly, it, it can be hung on the wall or, or stood on a desk or whatever, but... There we go. Looks a lot different in a frame. So, like I said, I just uh, wanted to do a, show you a little bit of monochromatic. You know, things don't have to have tons of color to have a lot of uh, punch to them. You can get some really cool stuff very simply and easily and uh, uses a lot less ink. <laughs> so... Definitely try the Yuppo if you've never tried it. I know I'm always saying that, um, but it is really cool stuff. Opens a lot of doors. But uh, that's all we got for this video, so take care and have a great day. And uh, remember to like and subscribe and all that stuff, and happy holidays.